Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time we, uh, we had a time skip, which was a little, little jarring. We're now five years in the future, something like that. Uh, we've met up with the members of the Black Eagle House again. Haven't we? I don't. I don't believe we've seen any members of. Any of the other houses that we had recruited yet, but they were willing to work with us before, so I'm assuming we will be seeing them. Uh, other than that, I don't remember. It's been like a week. Um, let me see. Can I do any certification stuff? Not really. Man, their new looks are just so jarring. I'm so used to it. I still don't like Bernie's hair. I preferred her hair from her younger days. I don't know. That's just me, though. Uh. Huh. Hmm. Okay, I'm not even gonna worry about that right now. Um. This is the last free day. So I guess... Are there any battles we need to do? Are there any paralogs? No, these are just random things. Um, I guess explore... Actually, this might be the first exploration day we have. Again, so it's, been, it's been a while, so I don't fully remember. Let me take a look here. Yeah, we have a few things to do. First off, let me take a look. Are they all supports with me? No. Okay. I guess that's what we're doing first. Uh, Ale Garden Hubert B rank support. We've come such a long way. Indeed, you have. After all, I was only four years old when we first met. Oh, y'all have known each other that long? Christ. <laughs> From your perfect memory, Lady Edelgard, I expect nothing short of the utmost precision. Do go on. Yeah, but. <laughs> Please don't mock me with such frivolous praise. I can hardly recall that day. <laughs> Forgive me. I suppose I must have been six at the time. I have no recollection of it. Neither of you... Well, I mean, I guess I don't really remember things when I was like four or six. I mean, a little bit, but... Nothing really specific, so it's weird. My earliest memory of you is of when you were injured. I recall being scolded most sternly by my father. You are Lady Edelgard's servant, he said. You must protect her with your life. And yet, he stood against her. Which is an eh, interesting development. I had no idea. But House Vestra has served House Fressfeld for generations. Given that, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. I guess, but... Indeed. After that, I made certain to accompany you wherever you went. A tad creepy, in my opinion, but... You know, what can you do? That is, until... The incident. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. House, uh... Ayer. And I, I guess some of the other nobles were... Yeah. Ah. Uh. When my uncle, Lord Arundel, defected to the kingdom and took me with him. Uh, that's different. Or maybe it's the same incident, but just they're expanding on it, I guess. The sensation of loss that overcame me on that day defies all description. It was as horrific as if I'd lost all my limbs. I left the city in a mad rush to rescue you. That... isn't that a tad traumatic? Uh, okay. My father sent soldiers to capture me. I fought them off for three days, but they did finally manage it. That's honestly kind of impressive. Bravo. Of course, I was only ten. I never would have reached Ferdiad. You, you, you... Okay. I've never heard that story before. So there are things you've never told me. It would seem to be the case. It wasn't important. Not... No. <laughs> 
it might be important to her. That's beside the point. I wish to know these things. If there's anything else you're keeping from me, please tell me at once. Ooh, she's getting all stern with you. Respectfully, I decline. Interesting. So that means there is something you're hiding. Why? It's a simple order. I really must know. Speaking of your orders, there was a task you gave me earlier, which I have yet to carry out. Excuse me. That pro dodge, though. <laughs> He's like, nope. Peace. Wait just a moment. <sighs> I just hope he's not hiding anything too worrisome. I can think of one thing. <laughs> uh, nothing, anything like story major, but I can, I can think of something. But definitely. Uh, I think the rest of these are with, yeah, with Arthur, my player character. Okay. Um. Let's see, where, there were, why do I keep hitting X? Um, entrance hall is Ingrid. She's a blue lion, so that's an interesting convo. Is this the same Professor? gatekeeper? Yes, my guy. Professor, nothing to report. What's that? Do I have brothers in the church? You really are well informed. Yeah, I mean, it's my job, kind of. My older twin works for the Knights of Saros, but I think he's just a grunt, not a noble gatekeeper like yours truly. Yes, N noble. Uh huh. We'll, we'll go with that. Unlike me, he's very devout. He left the Empire a long time ago. Okay, so our gatekeeper buddy is is an Empire guy. Good, 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 good. <sighs> a moment, please. Never had to kill our our buddy. By making an enemy of the church, disorder is running rampant among the populace. It's not surprising. It's quieted down over these last five years, though. The well-being of Her Majesty is steadily improving. Hmm. Uh. Nothing really. Oh, I guess I can grab some of these, huh? Tomato, onion. Why did I say tomato? It's tomato. I think that's the first time I've ever instinctively said tomato. Outside of the whole tomato, tomato thing, the phrase. <laughs> it's an odd time for me to say it, but <clears throat> yeah, it's whatever. All right, Ingrid, what you got for me? His Highness, the new king is in the process of unifying the kingdom under his command. Yeah. His powerful army has joined forces with the Knights of Saros, who moved their seat to Fargus. And now they're presenting a united front against the Imperial army. They're our greatest enemy, absolutely. I'm guessing you and any of the people of your house probably followed you here to like to the Empire, I'm guessing. Can you fight against your homeland? I don't relish the idea, but there's no turning back now. All right. For now, we should focus our efforts on the alliance. The kingdom and church can come afterwards. Yeah, it wouldn't do to get flanked. Judith, who defends the Great Bridge of Murden, is a formidable opponent. We can't afford to drop our guard. Oh, I never drop my guard. Well, eh, that's probably false, actually. Uh, advanced jur. Okay. I hadn't looked at any of that yet since uh, the time skip because, you know, I. Yeah. Uh, at some point, I had to go through and get rid of all these, but. For now, I'm not gonna bother. Hello. Uh, this is terrible. View quest. I need a favor. Uh, some soldiers stationed at Fodland's Locket. Abandon the post. They won't wait you call up standing, folks. It'd be a real headache for us if they became bandits and started wreaking havoc in the towns. Yeah. <clears throat> bandits definitely are never a good thing. Alright, and... 
to go back down and get that support that's over there. It's to this side. But yeah. Professor. Yo, what up, Dorothea? Dorothea would like to speak with you, so now good time. Uh, yeah. You're... This may seem a bit sudden, but... I want to thank you, Professor. For what? That is, for letting me live my life the way I want. Uh, sh sure? I've noticed you've been giving me fewer of those soul-revealing gazes lately. I mean, I kind of did just meet back up with y'all, so... Give it time. <laughs> I appreciate you making an effort to not trouble yourself over who I spend my time with. I don't know what you mean. If you say so. But I notice you doing it all the same. It's kind of sweet in its own way. <laughs> Professor, may I tell you a story about when I was younger? Shoot. I was an orphan living in the back alleys of Enbar until one day I was overheard singing. And you're giving your big, uh, your big chance? That was when my new life began. I was suddenly a songstress in the Middle Frank Opera Company. Performers, nobility. I met so many people. But none of them ever really knew me. Yeah, that's the uh, the problem with showbiz. Is people see all the glitz and glamour and what you're allowed to show to the public for, because of your managers and it's, yeah. I was just some young, pretty girl who could sing. A spectacle to be admired. Yeah. It's, uh, not the best life. Also, give me a second, I'm turning up my sound. There we go. Even though everyone praised my looks and my voice, and they showered me with gifts. It felt hollow. I knew one day I'd be old. My looks would fade. My voice would change. I wouldn't sound the same. <sighs> and I started to wonder, when I did get old, what would I have left? Your friends? I'd be old, alone, and back on the streets of the capital, right where I'd started. You have friends who won't let that happen, though. Now, anyway. I won't let you be alone. <laughs> That's sweet of you. Even if you are just flirting. I... I'm... I'm I don't know about Byleth, but I meant it. <laughs> I never had much to begin with in life, and I worry that one day I'll be that way again. That's why I keep searching for someone who will love me. Ugh. I'm so... I've already decided on... on Bernadetta. But like, Bernadetta, Dorothea, Edelgard, uh, Annette, Leo, like... Why must there be so many... Good choices. <laughs> Someone unaware of the songstress who can love a girl that used to be scared and alone on the streets of the capital. <sighs> <laughs> I wonder if such a strange person can even exist. Uh. He hello? Uh. That's. Bruh. Okay, where's hers at? Up here? Okay. Mm. Within the territories of the Alliance, the Gloucester and Daphnal houses dominate the West. House Gloucester has always supported the Empire. There's not much chance of them defying us. So all that needs to be done to restore peace in the West now is to crush House Daphne. Okay. 
I don't remember the last names of all the people, so I couldn't say who that is, really. I'm trying to think, who... Hello. Yeah, I don't know. The last five years have been difficult at times. I can't imagine. My relationship with Edelgard is rather contentious due to the incident with my father. Yeah, yeah, I can't imagine that's, uh, very pleasant. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon my family's duties. Good man, good man. As Duke Iyer, I must play my part in the Imperial Army. Edelgard intends to abolish the nobility, but I know I can dissuade her from doing so. I can't agree with you here, Ferdinand. People, people should get jobs based on their merits, not by their blood. Hence why, you know, IRL, we haven't had the nobility system in a long time. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess there are some places in the world that still use it, but not really. Actually, no, I don't think anywhere uses the nobility system. There are still monarchies, sure, but actual, but like the full caste system with like nobles and whatnot, I don't think that exists anymore, anywhere. I, I don't know, I could be wrong, huh? Advanced drills, um, I don't need any of those. Where is it? I went the complete opposite direction of it. <laughs> Up and to the right. Right, right. Are uh, you curious to know how Bernadetta is doing? Go for a visit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe how long it's been since I left home. Since I was dragged out of the house, I mean. Y yeah. Five whole years. It's weird to think about. You stutter a lot less. That's good. Um. Weird in what way? At first, I remember I was desperate to go back, but now it's the opposite. Yeah, I doubt you'd want to go back to your father. That'd be. I have friends here, and I have you. Yeah, you do. The monastery's become a second home to me. Back then, I never would have dreamed a day like this would come. A day like what? Hmm. I'm happy for you. It's all thanks to you. You've given me a second chance at life. Oh, I didn't do anything special. Come on. If not for you, I never would have gotten used to leaving my room, let alone the monastery. Maybe the battlefields just told my senses. Uh, uh, wouldn't they sharpen your senses? I don't know. I'm much better with strangers and new places now, though. I don't panic nearly as much as before. Uh... Could you go somewhere new by yourself? A new place? All on my own? That sounds like a tough assignment. Where did this come from all of a sudden? Hey, hold on. What? You're teasing me, aren't you? Maybe. I, I don't know. Please don't joke around like that anymore. It's torture for me. Okay, okay. Basically what I said. You're That's... still not taking me seriously. I mean it. Promise me you won't do that again. Friends respect each other's feelings, don't they? When it, when, when it popped up, all right, all right, after I said, okay, okay, I was like, huh. Okay, I promise. Good. I'll hold you to that. All right. You're absolutely not allowed to send me out anywhere on my own. Got it? I mean, I'll be difficult, but why not? You would need to come with me. Why not? If you're with me, I can go anywhere in the world. Oof. My heart. Uh, 
Um, I'll. I, I don't know what the right answer here is. Um, I'll follow at a distance. Oh, that defeats the purpose. Why can't you get what I'm saying? I mean, I get it. Byleth is the one that's not getting it. I thought we were finally getting close. I guess I'm not good enough for that, though, am I? I mean, out of the three answers I could have given you, I think, I think that was probably the best one, maybe? I don't know. I'll let you have this one, but you better be ready for next time. Okay. Professor! <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, just the one with Caspar left, and he is down at the pond. It appears, or like just up above from the pond. Professor. Yo, what up, Caspar? Uh, Caspar would like to speak with you. Is now a good time? Yeah, of course. I'll get time. Hey, Professor, something's been bothering me. What up? Remember that suspicious guy I chased after back when I was a student? Uh, yeah. A knight scolded me for it, but at the time, I really thought I was doing the right thing. Now that I've had more experience on the battlefield, though... You see where he's coming from? I've been looking for you. There isn't much time, so I'll keep this brief. The knights encountered a band of brigands while out marching. It was hard fought, but we prevailed. Our soldiers are highly trained, but the enemy was formidable, and we weren't expecting combat. There were a number of casualties among our troops. <sighs> I pray for their souls. Much appreciated, but there's a reason I need to bring this to your attention. The brigands all bore identical tattoos of a scorpion on their arms. Oh, those who slid in the dark, whatever? Please, keep an eye out for that mark in the future. Right. Oh, no. Thank you. Don't mention it. If you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my duties. <laughs> Heck of a coincidence, right? As soon as I mention that suspicious guy, this happens. Yeah, the scorpion mark. It's good to hear they've finally been dealt with. But some of the knights died in combat. <sighs> they died because of what I did five years ago. This is my fault. I... Maybe... May, I don't know. Like, I guess maybe they could have gotten something from him five years ago, but you, you don't know. He, he might not have not noticed anything. If I'd stayed quiet and tracked the guy down like you said, we would have stopped those brigands sooner. And I wouldn't have blood on my hands. This isn't... Well, I don't know. But he might have harmed the children. But he probably wouldn't have. Now those knights, they're not coming back. We both know it. This is all my fault. Poor Caspar. <sighs> all right. Up here we go. And it looks like Hubert has something for us. But hang on, is Elgard in? Here she is. Professor, I'm sorry to have dragged you into the fight again so soon after our reunion. Not anything to be done about it. But you appeared at a most opportune time. I'm truly humbled by your support, my teacher. Thank you. You can count on me. And so I will. I'm hoping your abilities from five years prior are still intact. I mean... <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Make sure you're ready to head out, okay? Right. Okay. Any drills I can do with her? 
Not really, no. Okay. Allow me to brief you on the details of our situation. Right. The Empire firmly controls the western portion of Fargus. However, the central and eastern regions continue to put up heavy resistance. The strongholds in these regions are Aryan Road, the fortress city, and Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. Yeah, I imagine <laughs> breaching what is literally known as the fortress city probably isn't a fun time. We cannot control Fargus until we have taken both of these cities. As for the Alliance, Houses Gloucester and Ordelia seem predisposed to capitulate to us. However, due to interference from Houses Regan and Goneril, we have yet to secure their cooperation. Claude obviously hopes to keep the Alliance whole through diplomacy. But because we have had to focus our efforts against the Church until now, our forces have yet to meet his. But that's gonna change with me showing up, right? We have only recently begun to take the fight to Alliance territory. I st like, okay, it's one thing, right, to want to take down the Immaculate One and all the things like it's been controlling the humans in Fodlin for a thousand years or whatever. But why are you trying to force other kingdoms into submission? I, I, I don't know. I have a request for you. Uh, would you assist in securing more resources? Gather the requested uh, resources and deliver them. Two tomatoes and two smoothing stones. Sure. Okay, where do I have to go for that? Does it show me or do I have to figure out myself? Also, I'm going to go over to the Cardinal's room. Is this the first time we've been allowed in here? I think it might be. Also, I said I would, but I haven't checked out all the rest of those books in the library yet. Also... Wow, she looks pretty good, actually. I'm so glad to see you're alright. I really regretted not being able to keep the promise I made to my mentor. What? Wait, what'd you promise him, huh? Keep me safe? Promise? Captain Gerald told me that if anything should happen to him, then I should stick by you. Oh, yeah. So basically what I said. I'm going to do just what he asked. I'll be right here to support you from now on. Thank you. Advanced drills. Um, I can throw some to the bow, I guess. Okay. Um... I guess from third floor. Wait a second. I don't recall. Okay, we can get up to where the Archbishop lived, which is neat, I suppose. I'm guessing this area will have some importance in a couple chapters. That's my guess, anyway. But for now, it's useless. Um, Marianne doesn't look as tired anymore. Um, my adoptive father sent me here so our family name would be known. He doesn't care which side wins, the Empire or the Alliance. However... Even if he tells me to come home, I intend to stay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's your choice, ultimately. It's up to you. I want to see this new world Edelgard dreams of. Good or bad, it'll, it'll be, uh, it'll be a spectacle, that's for sure. Yeah, you really do look a lot better. You, you don't look nearly as just messed up anymore. <laughs> Which is good. It's good. Um, is there anyone in particular? I can talk to these people. Who is fleshy, flesh, flesh, fleshy, fleshy? Ah, a new face. I am Randolph von Burglies. We've met. 
Oh, I guess now we met five years ago, didn't we? Yeah. I'm the guardian of this place. Wait a moment. I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. Yeah, at the uh, like fortress five years ago. Five years ago. Ah, yes. You're Her Majesty's professor. You're alive. I'm surprised too. Um. Oh, this is my little sister, Flash. She's just a rookie, but she's helping me as my assistant. Yo, what? Up? Uh, hello, I'm Flash von Burgleys. It's nice to meet you. I know I'm inexperienced, but I'm gonna do my best. You can count on me to look after my big brother. <laughs> I'm sure I can. I've heard you're planning to march into Alliance territory. I'll be here to guard the fort. Okay. Hi. There were clashes with the Kingdom Army near the Western Front. But this is the first time the Alliance Army has had an honest-to-goodness fight. I hear their leader's pretty competent. But the Alliance Army is pretty tough, too. I mean... I would expect an army to be... Tough. I mean... Well... I don't know. I guess medieval armies were a bunch of farmers for a while. Yeah. No, not even medieval. Medieval was more organized than that. Like... I don't even know. I'm just grasping at conversation topics. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, harvest. Oh look, my crops from five years ago. <laughs> That's literally what that is. Uh, okay. Cultivate Caledonian oil. Okay. And I can grab no tomatoes, unfortunately. La, 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 la. Professor, oh my, it's so good to see you. Good to see you too. That was uh, not well. It was just. A bunch of laws, but yeah, it was it was it was all right. These days, so many old friends seem to be disappearing, but you, you're here. Am I? Am I not a figment of your imagination? Hmm. It's incredible to see you again after five years. And probably a little jarring. I have a feeling your name will go down in history. One can. I mean, would be hope for that. I don't know. Uh, advanced drills. Yeah, can't really. Want training? Hey, Annette. My father used to be a knight in service of the royal family of Fargus. For a time, he was at the monastery, but apparently, he's back in Fargus serving as a knight again. <sighs> Which means, if I fight with this army, I'll eventually have to face my own father. Yeah, that's the. Reality of this world, unfortunately. Does it frighten you? Terribly. But I've accepted my fate. I'm ready for anything. Of course, if at all possible, I would prefer not to fight my father. If we have to fight him, I won't field you against him. Or I'll try not to. This is the path I chose. I have no regrets. Okay, what can you teach me? Uh, nothing really. Alright, um... Gonna talk to Bernadette and Shamir and see if I can find those tomatoes. Hmm. What's that look on your face? Surprised to see me? I mean, maybe. Also, you look like you haven't aged. I'm a mercenary. Always have been. Even when I was with the Knights of Saros. Well, I mean, I guess to be fair, you were already a fully grown woman five years ago, so I guess it's not that surprising you haven't aged that much. Assuming you were only like 24 back then, 24 to 29. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't look all that different. I never was too attached to Fodlan. I was considering leaving soon. But now that I'm here, gonna stay? But I might change my mind if you're around. Yes. We in, boys. Um... 
archery, why not? I don't think we can recruit people from other areas anymore. From other kingdoms. I think unless we did it before chapter 12 or 11 or whatever. I think it's locked off to us. Yeah, 12. Are we leaving for battle? I heard it's a long march. But it's fine. I've had plenty of time to stay inside lately, so I think it's time I run out. Yeah. All right, let's go. I can do this. No more Bernie Bear. <laughs> Bernie Bear? Oh, yeah. People call me Bernie Bear since I hole up in my den all the time. Not anymore, though. Alright. Uh, skill level up, bow is now D. Coo, coo, coo. There is still more to learn. Alright, I guess to the dining hall. Can I even do the dining hall stuff, or is it locked off right now? Oh, all the staff is still here. Huh. So I can apparently talk to someone? <laughs> I've been working here for a few years now. There are plenty of others working here, too. Since the acolytes and students aren't here, it's up to us to pick up the slack. Okay. That didn't really tell me all that much. Uh, we've got morale meals today. Gathering the dining hall to strengthen battle bonds. Effects are enhanced when dining with an ally. Okay. Uh, Elgard. Leone. Yes. Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? Uh, the the on-screen menu told me. <laughs> that looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. Alright. Also, it's weird that our professor rank still goes up, even though we're technically not... I mean, we're their professor, but we're not a professor anymore, technically. I don't know. This is my favorite. I am rather happy you went out of your way to pick it, Professor. I mean, I just kind of clicked on the first thing I saw, but yeah. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that? Nope. Not until the game told me. <laughs> oh, man. These kids nowadays thinking they're all special. Um... Ingrid and Marianne. I'll do. I'll do. Right, Tootin. I like this dish. It was my father's favorite. I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. Yeah. I don't even know what my favorite food would be. Like the, I, I think I've gone over this before, but the easy answer is like pizza or tacos. But I don't know. I really want to try, uh, Indian curry. Or just Indian food in general. I've never had it. I think that'd be, uh, an interesting experience. Alright. Um. It's been a while, so let me see if everything's all good to go. Oh, by default, all of our weapons are... Maxed out, looks like. Okay. That's good. I guess that... Actually, let me check the item shop. Are there any uh, new items I can get? I'll just... Shame it doesn't let you pick how many you want to buy. Oh, that just took away a ton of money. I was... Didn't even realize. Okay. That'll do for now. Um, are there any bullions I had left over? That I could sell uh, this one. Oh. Uh... 
Okay, that'll do. Alright, mission. The Great Bridge Coup. The Black Eagle Strike Force is an unexpected encounter with someone thought to have died years prior. Amidst the joy, your force is prepared to invade Alliance territory. Who? Uh... Wait a moment. I think I have an idea. Well, actually, it could be two people, actually. The newly crowned king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Dimitri, has declared fealty to the Church of Seros and is raising an army in preparation for all-out war with the Empire. As leader of the Alliance, Claude maintains a facade of neutrality amidst infighting between those who support and those who oppose the Empire. Meanwhile, the Black Eagle Strike Force plans to capture Alliance territory before Edelgard takes the war to the Kingdom and the Church of Seros. With sights set on capturing Deirdre at the center of House Regan's territory, she leads a march across the Great Bridge of Murden to establish a bridgehead. All right. Man, Dimitri uh, has changed a lot, though. Looked a lot more rugged. We're about to commence our attack on the Great Bridge of Murden. But first, allow me a moment of your time. Of course. What do you need? It is something that I can only ask of you. Listen well. Okay. It concerns Lady Edelgard's uncle, the regent of the Empire, Lord Arundel. Although he is currently cooperating with Her Majesty, he maintains his own sizable military troops. Mmm. You're afraid of, a. Uh... A coup. Oh. Uh oh. It seems to me that his plans differ from our own. Yeah. I assume you recall a certain group scheming from five years ago? Solon and Kranya. They both served Lord Arundel. Oh. That, okay. I didn't really. Uh, actually, that makes sense. Because their flame, uh, talk with the flame emperor, aka Edelgard, with the whole yada yada cropping, cropping for now. Yeah, that, yeah, makes sense. Why must we cooperate, Professor? I understand how you must be feeling, considering what they did to your father. Yeah. Yeah, that too. I know it must be foul to even consider cooperating with their kind. Yeah, it's a little unpleasant, yes. However, their power is essential for us at present. Edelgard also strongly opposed the idea at first. Our enemy is the Church of Seros itself. It cannot be toppled with the Empire's might alone. I guess, yeah. Those working under Lord Arundel are extremely hostile toward the church. And the enemy of our enemy is... Well, I think you sufficiently understand by now. Doesn't mean I like it, though. Doesn't mean I like it. You should see it. Or are you sure it's a good idea? Until all of Fodlan is united, it is a necessary evil. As for how we deal with them afterward, time will tell. Hopefully we'll put them to the sword. That'd be preferred. Regardless, Her Majesty and I wish to join our power with yours. You should know that in her heart, Her Majesty regards that group as enemies of herself and her family. Yeah. Yeah, I know. They used her father, the former Emperor, as a puppet and murdered her siblings with their vile experimentation. I believe Her Majesty may have told you some of this herself. That is why this was a very painful decision for her to make. I will do all I can to ensure her suffering is not in vain. 
and I hope I can count on you to do the same. You can count on me, bro. Bro, Broheim. As for all I have told you, please keep it in mind as we march forward. I will. More importantly, I implore you to fight as best you can for Edelgard. From the bottom of my heart, I beg this of you. Working those with those heckin' people, man. Grr. There we go. Okay, units. Um. Marianne can go. Bringing that in. Uh, Hubert can go. I guess Ferdinand can stay as an adjutant. And I'll throw on Manuela. I can't. Oh no, I have to do it front look. Right, 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 right. Yeah, Manuela. Okay, map. Who up you against? Uh, Judith, Ignatz, any other major character? Also, oh, we're separated. Lovely. Yeah, it just looks like it's uh, that Judith lady and Ignatz, and probably other people are gonna spawn up here. Okay, well, let me have Petra come up here in exchange for Shamir. Um, what do I want up front? I guess none of these people are actually very good for frontline fighting. I guess they can remain Linhart in that case then. Yeah, I'll do. Alright, fight. Begin the battle? Yes. Defeat the enemy commander. We'll be capturing the Great Bridge of Murden, a key strategic location of the Leicester Alliance. Claude will surely be sending reinforcements, so we must prevail before they arrive. That'll be difficult. Our opponent is Judith, the so-called hero of Daphnel. We can handle her, so long as we don't get careless. How did you get the name Hero? That's what's concerning me. The boy said to run if I was in danger, but... I could never do that. I'll hold out until reinforcements arrive. Ah, you bloody fool. All right. I'm awake. Are you though? You don't sound very awake. But you know, I'm not one to talk. How exciting! Let's clean up. Combat arts, curved shot. How much better would the blessed bow be? Not at all, actually. Okay. Get damage down. My orders. Uh, she might crit. Maybe. I will destroy you. There we go. That works out. Alright, 
one down. How about a curtsy? <laughs> Interesting. Um, More fighting. It's strange that Leone of all people would be the one to mention a curtsy. What's my strategy? I guess it's probably her making fun of uh, nobles. Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with that move. All is going to plan. Now is the time to master this. In the middle of a battle, I mean, I, I guess. Ready when you but... are. Am I okay with her being in range of people? Uh, no. So I'll have her do this instead. Have Ingrid do it. You saved me. Okay. That wouldn't be a fun move to make. Uh. Yeah. She can't kill him though, which is a bit of a problem. This is alright. I like to move back over here too. Oh, that works. That works out. Forgot about her secondary movement. Put me in there. Man, the, the 3DS Fire Emblem's ruined me because I, I, I'm not I used to having that this. after a, a fight movement anymore. I just don't think I about it. Revenge. Also, I messed up. I meant to use Patro to give them all more movement speed, but I'm I suppose that can wait for next turn. Which actually works out a bit better. Because now they're all clustered up, so I can guarantee a, a hit for it on all of them. Ow. Okay, that, that hurt. Luckily, she has a close counter. Otherwise, it would be a lot more uh, difficult. Oh. Just my luck to be born in such a... Oh. I don't like doing this, but We'll be capturing the great claw. Yeah, 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 yeah. is Judith. This he can handle. The boy said to run if I was in danger, but I could never do that. I'll hold out until reinforcements arrive. Yeah, we've already seen this. Um, yeah, that was a. Uh... I really just didn't think about if this guy attacked Linhart. That was. I forgot how bad his defense was. Like eight at level twenty-seven. Like, that was just up. a. Now to screw up on my part. My orders. So I guess I'm gonna play it a little bit slower this time. I'm awake. Okay, let me see. What do you move at? Uh, he doesn't have any super long range attacks. What's her defense at? 15? Okay, she's good. She's fine here. Unlike Linhart. Sending their numbers. 
Man, that was actually kind of a. Uh... Ready when you are. More fighting. Embarrassing. That's my strategy. Actually, you know what I can do is use meteor and just chunk these guys right off the rip. <laughs> Something here. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, there we go. All right. Um, You should. If you aim for mediocrity, I mean, what kind of life are you living at that point? I will prevail. And... Yeah, I guess I'll. Since I have the opportunity this time, may as well do it. Wow, thanks. Put me in there. Oh, he sells the rapier, doesn't he? Yeah. I'm your girl. I forgot about it. I do this for all of us. Yeah, I can get rid of this guy. She doesn't have the plus one to range though. She's close counter, which is helpful. But yeah, for the plus one to range, she's still open to longer range enemies. Or at least the ones that have a plus one. Also, how does that make sense? How is the horse just hovering in the air like that? Pardon? I mean, I guess when does a when does a game ever needed to make sense? For real here. Why is she making, like, a noise as if she's an armored unit? Oh, she's an armored lord. Oh, she, she that, you know, that makes sense. She, she is an armored unit. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair play. <laughs> I just... Huh. Alright. That would, that would explain it. Today I was lucky. Nah, you're just a beast. Absolute unit on the field you are. Uh, she can't take him down directly, so I should have her dance with Linhart. Couldn't hurt. Can't finish him off unless he crits. Um, 
Okay, I'll have him go for this guy then. Yeah. I'm doing this for the win. Okay, get that W in heart. Always for the W. Oh, I got Bulgan on. Good, good, good. Good for Fantastic spell that is. Um. Now, how do I want to go about this then? Ah, this will do. And this guy's gone to another dimension. I must leave them well. Not my best. Yeah, that could have been better. That yeah, doesn't really matter either way. Feels good to fight for a cause. Would that insta kill them? I oh okay. I uh, uh, definitely not gonna do that. <laughs> definitely not. Um, Make a difference. 111 crit. It's overkill. Just had. Still far from the top. I'd better keep up. Who is that that's reaching? Okay, it's just that guy. That's fine. Uh, Ingrid, can you even finish this guy off? You can't. So I'm not even going to bother having you attack him. Would be no point. I do not tolerate obstacles. I've no time to idle. Is her defense better than Caspar's? I'm like 99% sure it is. Yeah. Caspar, <laughs> buddy. Buddy old pal. A uh, little embarrassing. Okay. She can put this guy down. Can't afford to lose. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, just crit bad. him. Crit him to death. That's, that's fine. Hey, you can just... Or, <clears throat> Ingrid can just, you know, chill up there for a little while. That's, that's, that's aight. Power positions, you know? Oh. Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting, Judith. We're the reinforcements. Do I have to put up with orders from that false leader? False leader? Huh? Enemy reinforcements. We didn't finish in time. Don't let them secure the ballista. I mean, I already have control of it, so, you know, we're good, but. That's two crits on a blister now. I mean, I'll take it, but it's just Sounds odd. Like fighting's all I do these days. That was fun to watch. Pretty much is, yeah. Would the eleven sword do more. I, yeah. Uh, you know what? I think it actually be better to have Caspar up front and moving these guys back. Yeah, I think it's better. Yeah, 
I'll do. That'll work for now. What I don't like though. Okay, she actually doesn't move. Oh, there's a chest right there. I I almost didn't spot that. <laughs> Had it hit in the, in the cheeky little spot. Sending their numbers. More effective. Ingrid, I'm pretty sure that Bo's <clears throat> targeting you, so I'm gonna pull you back. Oh wait, she can get up next to A no. No, she can't. Never mind. Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. Um I don't want to go about taking this guy down. Can't double with the bow, unfortunately. Um, I don't want to use the creator sword, but uh, kind of have to. Is it? I mean, I guess kind of. I'm but continuing to improve. I feel like things could be going a little bit better. Yeah. I don't want to get Linhart anywhere close to the combat. <laughs> You are nice. well simultaneously not letting anyone close to him. I am helping Claude build the future of Fodlin. Yeah, yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Oh, you hit like a truck. I mean, you're a character unit, so I guess that makes sense, but like a uh, actual. Important person, but damn, predictable. He did a lot more than I thought he would. Okay, um, yeah, I don't like that. Um, okay, Shamir. You hit like a truck. Ow. I should have known this would happen. Ignatz, damn it. Such a good kid. He died too young. I... Okay. Hold hold on just a minute. Hold the phone. I gotta look up if I can like recruit him. Farm three houses Chapter thirteen. Can I recruit? 
I'm pretty sure I can only recruit them when they're in the school. Uh, I get, ah, oh man. Looks like there's nothing I can really do about it, unfortunately. Uh, that that sucks. Assist, uh, restore. Oh wait, no, it's recover. That's the restores the. Yes, I'm going back specifically just to fix this. <laughs> Heal. My orders? Go for it, Leone. Be smart or I'm finished. For the Empire. More fighting. Tempest Lance. Or, yeah, Tempest Lance, Crescent Sickle. Okay. That works. I could have done it normally, but, yeah. It looks like I'm done for. But, I'm sorry. Wait, is that gonna end it? Was she the commander? I don't think she was the commander. Still far from the top. Alliance soldiers, Judith has fallen. Further conflict is futile. I missed that she was the commander. I wanted that chest. I didn't get to grab it. Damn it. If you surrender, your lives will be spared. Lay down your weapons immediately. Please don't lay down your weapons. Damn. Why is the the commander for this ch I didn't even think that uh. Damn it. Am I really bothered enough to No, I'm not bothered enough to really care about going back <laughs> and grabbing the the chest. I don't, I don't care. I don't care enough. You have all fought well. With this victory, we now have a foothold in the Alliance. The Imperial Army will cross the Aramid River and push the front lines forward. The fight will continue, but do not allow that to stop you from taking pride in our hard-won victory. Yep, y'all earned it. Ah, this should put a stop to one of Edelgard's choice phrases. Well done, Professor. Choice phrases? Huh? I believe it was, if only the professor were here, we could forge ahead and change the tides of this war. <laughs> yeah. Ferdinand, it is not necessary to tell the professor such things. Oh, it was very necessary for me. Thank you. That was good. <laughs> we're not the only ones benefiting. The whole Imperial Army is stronger now. Yes, it seems the Empire finally has both of its legs to stand on. Don't you agree? Sure. You make it sound as though I can't run the Empire on my own. I mean... Perhaps it's more apt to say that the Pegasus has recovered its home. Sure. Judith of Daphne. Oh, what a magnificent warrior. 
I'm happy to have the professor back just like old times, but I don't think I'll ever get used to this cruel exchange of lives. Yeah. When there is something you must not be conceding, you must keep fighting. The fighting has been continuing for five years, but now I am again witnessing the professor's power. I hate fighting, but with the professor here, maybe it's slightly less terrible? Maybe slightly. I'll take it. Oh, but everyone is working so hard! Stop it, Bernie. You can't be the only one complaining. I'm glad to see everyone so inspired. It seems the reappearance of the professor has done much to raise your morale. Do you not feel the same, Hubert? Come now, be honest with yourself. <laughs> oh. Now, we must take advantage of the situation and blaze ahead. Our path is still along. I'd be very disappointed if it wasn't. I expect at least 10 more chapters for this version of how the game goes. Eight at least. Hopefully like 10, but we'll see. Part two, Crimson Flower, Guardian Moon, The Master Tactician. Having crushed the Alliance's army and captured the Great Bridge of Murden, the Imperial Army prepares to attack Deirdre, the Alliance's base of operations. That was a very short and to the point, like, in between chapter, whatever you want to call it. I muted my mic to take a drink and all of a sudden it was done, I was like, oh. Professor, what is your opinion of Claude? I can't help but wonder what sort of impression he made on you. Mm. He'd be a good king. Interesting. I've never thought of him like that. However, I know you have a keen eye for potential. After all, as leader of the Leicester Alliance, he has managed to protect his entire territory all this time. How's he done that? Since the beginning, territories within the Alliance have been split between those who support the Empire and those who oppose it. Okay. Claude has been acting as an intermediary between the two, essentially keeping the Alliance pacified. As both sides are of equal strength, he's created a situation in which they've all agreed to avoid fighting each other and causing undue bloodshed. I mean, that's just logic there. By but. carrying on as though the Alliance is united, he's minimized the Empire's influence there. He's a smart man. <laughs> it's quite impressive how well his bold scheme has worked out. You don't seem very pleased by it, though. However, he is walking on thin ice. One wrong move and the Alliance will shatter. Yeah, and is that. Speaking of Claude... Your Majesty, we should not delay in our invasion of the Alliance. It would seem that Claude has some fresh scheme up his sleeve, to no one's surprise. Is that so? Yeah, what's he done this time? Yes. The people of Deirdre have suddenly found it difficult to leave or enter the city. We can safely assume he is preparing for battle. But I am certain his plans extend beyond that as well. Do you not think we should take Deirdre at once? Probably would be a good idea, yeah. Deirdre, the aquatic capital. A city floating on the ocean certainly poses a challenge. Since it's deep within Regan territory, we haven't had the opportunity to attack it directly. 
However, now that we have control of the Great Bridge of Murden, our situation has changed drastically. They can no longer expand their supply line into the Empire, and so we can finally attack Regan territory. House Regan is not only Claude's house, but also the flagship of those who oppose the Empire within the Alliance. Yeah, but we probably not actually. Yeah. If House Regan falls, the other Alliance lords will be tripping over themselves to join us. That is why we cannot fail to take Daredru. I was guessing I realized that the person that was thought to have been lost years ago, I guess, is us in that uh, in the last chapter's mission description, which is kind of uh, disappointing. If I'm being honest, let's go. Let's do it. Confidence is one thing, Professor, but see to it that you do not underestimate Claude. Yeah, he seems like a. A bad guy to under. A very easy to underestimate, but probably. shouldn't. The leader of the Alliance has had many things said about him. They say he is unbeatable in a battle of intellect. I hear they call him the Master Tactician. Sounds fun. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's probably gonna have so many things up his sleeve. You got a birthday gift from Edelgard. A uh, little, just a letter. And oh, it's also Inga's birthday. That's right. That's right. Uh, host a tea party, cause why not? Yeah. Thank you for inviting me. No problemo. Offer some tea. A bit hot. Um. Uh. A word of advice. Okay. Okay. Um. Quite delicious. For school days. Good, good, good. Heart racing memories? Damn it. I fumbled at the end. I was at the goal line and just dropped the ball. <sighs> Thank you for the treat. I had such a great time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't gotta. Oh, I act all nice. It was a, it was a disaster. Uh, you have allies who can take master exams. Take a look at the certification to review which they can take. Ah, uh, let me do that. Certifications. Who? For no. Oh, Leone probably. Yeah. But she hasn't mastered Paladin yet, so they can wait. Uh, she's not quite there yet. I just... No, I have to get in advance before I skip over to Master. Okay. But I'm currently Enlightened one. Actually, I can be Assassin or... Bishop right now, okay. Let me explore. Would you like to explore the monastery now? Yes. Supports. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, but for now, I think that's gonna do it. I was gonna go for a good bit longer, but because I woke up at uh, I wasn't even awake 13 hours. 
I'm usually good to go for like 17, 18 hours before I go to sleep, but I guess waking up later doesn't equal being able to stay up later for some reason, which is a bit silly, but yeah, next time we're uh, gonna go through support, go do the quests, and uh, do a bunch of other stuff before we finally get to attack and dare Drew at the capital of the Alliance, where we will fight Claude and whatever other members of the Alliance haven't been recruited or killed yet. Later.